In this video, we're going to look at the substitute function. So substitute is a really useful function and you can use it for a range of things when you're dealing with different text strings. So we've got a few product codes here and let's say we want to replace the hyphen with a slash and to do that you can use the substitute function. So if we just type out equal substitute. Now first of all you have to select the text which is the cell with your text string in, so cell A2 here. Now you have to specify the old text which is what you want substituted, so for us it's going to be this hyphen and then you have to specify the new text and that will be a forward slash. And then instant number. Now instance num is something you don't have to specify if you want all instances replaced, but if you only want one instance replaced, like the first one or the second one, then you would have to specify it. So for the time being, we're just going to ignore that and close this off and enter. And here you can see that our hyphens have been replaced with forward slashes and we can drag that down and all of them are replaced. Next up, let's have a look at dealing with the instance num part of this formula. So if we just go back into the formula, do a comma, and then if we specify instance num one, hit enter, and what you'll see there is that only the first instance has been changed. So this second hyphen, this one here, has been left, and that's because we've specified instance num one only. Something else to be aware of with the substitute function is that it is case sensitive. So if we, for example, had apple written out twice here, one of them with a uppercase A at the beginning and one of them with a lowercase, and then we wrote a substitute function. So let's say we want to replace apple with orange, and we're going to ignore the instance num part of the function, and then fill this down. And what you can see is that only this one has been replaced, and that's because in our function we've actually got it written out of a lowercase a and that's what this one has so this one has been ignored because it's not an exact match so that's the substitute function um, another useful function to have in your toolkit thanks for watching this video if you found it useful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one